Diddy's new baby mama is a Vietnamese American woman from LA. The internet is talking about her. Now I understand that this is celebrity gossip, people. However, there are some interesting takeaways from all this. Oh my, we lost a good one, man. What the hell, man? <laughs> no. Hey man, wait, why are you tripping, man? I'm trying to go to a Diddy party, man. You know that's Trung's sister's cousin, man. All right, you guys, uh, everybody is talking about this from TMZ, Black Twitter, urban entertainment websites, even some Asian websites are covering this. So we got to get into the micro, small picture takeaways, but also the macro takeaways. And we're not DJ academics. You know, we don't do too much celebrity gossip news. But, Andrew, me and you did grow up with Diddy, Puff Daddy, Sean Puffy Combs. Sean John. <laughs> Not with him, listening to him. Yeah, influenced by Diddy and Jay-Z and, you know, that whole era of rap. <laughs> he said, you said, we grew up with Diddy. Oh, I was like, oh, man. I can still use it that way all grammatically. Right, all right, true, true, true. Um, and also, uh, I believe she might be from 626 or OC, which is where we lived. So, Asian Enclave here. Anyways, David, <laughs> what are the comments saying generally, the micro? Like, what is the conversation? What I'll say this, one quick observation I had. I thought, and maybe I'm being pessimist, I thought there was going to be more racial jokes about yeah. her being Asian, but there really wasn't. No, there was just more jokes about Diddy liking that. Asian women because Diddy, apparently, since he dated Cassie, has dated Gina Wynn, Jesse May, you know, a ton of other things. I think that, to be honest, people are over the Ling Ling jokes, yeah. the little rice ball jokes. I think Karuchi took a lot of those like 10 years ago, to be honest. <laughs> oh, and thank people you, are Karuchi. Just like, you know, stop Asian hate and stuff like that. People are just not trying to be like about yeah. race. They're more talking about how Diddy has got like a bunch of kids out of wedlock, but so does Elon and so does uh, Nick Cannon. So there was more jokes about like these guys that are super rich kings of modern pop culture basically influencing society society negatively because a lot of regular guys are kind of trying to do what they do, but only those guys can economically pull it off. Right. So you're saying that people are afraid that a bunch of non-rich guys are going to try to act like a rich guy, have all these babies out of wedlock, and they can't afford them. Yeah, and it even like slipped into the Jordan Peterson lane where people are like, this is hypergamy, and women, they're only mm -hmm. going for top 1% guys, so what are the regular oh, guys going to do? And they're all depressed, and that's why they need more coaching <laughs> and male Boy Scouts for like to more help the struggling, depressed male. And what about idiocracy? Have you guys seen that opening scene? For, I will say that uh, Asian-wise... Um, I saw some people celebrating it, be like, oh yeah, Asian women coming up, that's great, that's great. And then like some people are like, well, why is that a come up? Why are you right, celebrating Right, to be a rapper's that? baby mama. But people don't know, it's like not just any rapper, he's a good businessman, he's got an empire, he's like pretty much a billionaire, net worth is 900 million. I think it's very debatable. I mean, back to the Elon, Nick Cannon, Diddy point, Andrew, I think for some of them, they're like, dude, if all these like whack people are gonna have a bunch of kids, what, I can't do it? At least my genetics, and my like ability to make those kids smart and put them in a private school is gonna be like, make the world better. Uh, David, wrapping up this point, do you think Asians are just sort of getting used to seeing Asians talked about on TMZ or not used to Asians being talked about I, TMZ? Because this is very, very TMZ worthy news. Yeah, I have a nuanced answer because this news was posted on TMZ, right? Along with the other bunch of websites. I'll say this, they're not, Asians, women specifically have been on TMZ, but always as like a side, thing that not the main character dana tran was the main character of this diddy article i, I think usually it's talked about as a friend tracy romulus or talked about uh, as brenda song marrying uh miley cyrus's brother or macaulay culkin or whatever tatted up guy right, right, and then right. uh yeah so i think that people are used to seeing asians on tmz but not as the main character mm. that's a 2022 trope andrew main character wow um, moving on to the macro andrew what do you think asian guys felt yeah, yeah. And this is a touchy subject, right? Like some people, you know, they want to talk about this. Want to talk um, about this. I think on the more, I guess, sour side, I think obviously some Asian guys are like, oh, here we go again. No, no, Another, no. It's more like an eye roll, right? Yeah. Like, uh, I don't think they're really, I don't see a lot of online backlash. Like no one's coming out to put their profile out there trying to hate on somebody. I mean, she had a baby. People can like who they like. It's fine, right? However, of course, I could see some people being like, oh, another good looking Asian woman who just doesn't want to get with an Asian guy. We don't know if she dated Asian guys in the past or not. You could assume that she probably has at least once or twice. But I will say that obviously like, for me, I'm just like, that's cool. I mean, she could have gotten with so many other bummy dudes. Now she's going to raise a kid and Diddy is going to be eating pho or bumble whey or like calm tan plates or he's going to eat summer rolls. You know what I'm saying? Like, and this kid is now a blazing kid. Could be the next Naomi Osaka. I don't know. I'm just putting right, like right, really right. high it's almost expectations like on him. Part of the mainstreaming of our culture yeah. that you're like moving up. And it's like, I think initially probably like people who want to, become more Americanized, they're just like mixing, but then they're not necessarily getting the quality guys 
I mean, they could or could not, but now they're getting like the tier one percent, the yeah. top one percent of the. Yeah, guys. I'm just saying, like, this is all part of Asians coming up. Like everybody's always saying, oh, Asians are getting more mainstream. Asians are getting more mainstream. Well, this is part of being mainstream. Yeah. Hello to the mainstream world. But do you think it's fair for guys to go? Okay, so they got Brenda Song on TMZ. They got. Tracy Bromley's now they got Dana Tran. Everybody's looking into her. So many people are paying attention. So what do we got? What do we got? And then they're looking at, okay, so Jeremy Lin almost had that almost proposed date with Kim Kardashian. That was on TMZ. It didn't go down, right? A people rumor. are saying uh, Tim Chung almost was rumored to be the father of Kylie Jenner's daughter. Rumor. Right, Same. because it looked like pretty Asian, right? Or was it his son? I don't know. But uh, then also people are probably thinking about Lord. Lord, Lord's ex boyfriend was Asian, yeah. But I think some people are like, "Hey, man, when is one of these like K-pop guys is worth like a trillion billion dollars gonna like uh, date a, a white or black celebrity?" You girl? know what I realized, and I'm not an expert on K-pop, obviously, but what I realized is that anytime a K-pop person allegedly dates a girl, that girl gets so much crazy attention and scrutiny from like the fans that they like look, they dig into. So her you're saying that stuff. the girls in the K-pop stands are even gonna do more sleuthing than like. Certain I, I Democrats so. and women sleuthed into Dana Trans' yeah. cybersecurity I, I, background or whatever. I do think so. I think that they dig super deep on the internet. Um, but I, I mean, overall, like I think Asian guys will have our day because, as we said, Asians are coming up, and that means coming up in all different ways. And that means marrying some billionaires, or you know, I, I you wish to see an Asian Asian couple get this much attention, but I find it hard to believe unless- Well, mainstream American news is not gonna cover it. It would be more like a K-pop site would yeah, cover it. Yeah, it would be like if Simu dated like Lisa from Blackpink, that would be like on TMZ. You right. know what I mean? But that is like a crazy couple, right? That's like maybe not gonna happen, but whatever, you know, you can't expect these things. But anyways, I guess, uh, yeah, it'll happen eventually. But yeah, this is just the, the rising tide raises all boats. Yeah, so let us know what you think in the comment section below. You guys know we don't cover celebrity news. We're talking about big issues, little issues, but I think that I was surprised at how noteworthy this was because Andrew, I'm not gonna lie, 10 to 15 people sent me this article. So I was like, when I saw that, I was like, oh, we got to talk about it. You know, I, I think it's all something that Asian guys thought about, but I don't think all Asian guys were mad. And I don't think that they should be. Yeah, but. there's a lot of funny comments out there, though. Let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. You guys know the Hot Pop Boys. Not scared to talk about anything. Till next time, we out. Peace. Peace.